Hey guys, it's Chris Blue and welcome back to the Appalachia Sessions. I'm sitting here with some really cool people, Sierra Hull and Justin Moses. And uh, thank you guys for being a part of the show. Man, thanks for having us. Thanks for having this us. Fun. Yeah. Absolutely. So take us to the very beginning of your musical journeys. Well, we both got started young. I was eight. You were yeah, I started six. at six. Yeah. yeah. Wow, six years old. I was still eating dirt at six <laughs> years old. <laughs> I was probably eating dirt. <laughs> <laughs> both of my parents played music. My dad played guitar. My mom played some piano and you know by ear and all that. And uh, they joined a gospel group when I was about five or six. And so, um, you know, I was always hearing it in the house. And nice. The, um, same for me in that, you know, my dad got into it. And then next thing I know, um, started going to some bluegrass jams. So then we kind of went from just having music in church and around the house to getting into bluegrass music. And similarly to him. Right. Like when I was uh, like 12 or 13, I, we got heavily into like bluegrass and trying to learn all the. Then I started getting interested in banjo and everything. So. Now, you guys are married. We are. You are married, but uh, you, you, you met you know, a few years ago, and you're both from small towns, right? right. You're, you're just down the road. You're in Madison. Down the road, from yeah. From Madisonville. This is kind of a hometown show. Yeah, yeah. man, it is. It is. And you're from? Burtstown, gotcha. kind, of, kind of like northern middle Tennessee, gotcha. yeah, near the Kentucky line. No, no red light kind of town, <laughs> about 900 people. That's pretty rural. <laughs> I got you. You know Tell what it's like. What was education like growing up? This is, I know we're going back a few years. Maybe what, two, three years? Maybe. Just, just a few, <laughs> a few, yeah. I think for me growing up in such a small town, these teachers that were really invested into their students in a yeah. way that like, you know, as I got more into music and started having some opportunities to go do some shows and travel at a younger age, I mean, I had just such a support system back home with people who would say, oh, you know, yeah, we'll help, we'll come in early in the morning and help you, you know, get caught up or get ahead on lessons. So if I needed to be gone for a week, you know, I could do that. And I think that kind of support just matters so much in a, a young person's life. And then, Absolutely. you know, casual bluegrass jams, you learn so much in, in that kind of musical setting. It's not the same as like, you know, necessarily going and taking some kind of, you know, serious private lesson every week. It's such an organic way of learning. And I later went on to go to Berkeley College of Music and up in Boston for a little bit and kind of had a more, you know, serious, I guess, <laughs> school gotcha. experience. But I gotcha. think the bluegrass world is just so full of sharing and that organic teaching and handing yeah. down of the tradition, which is such a beautiful thing. Absolutely. Well, it definitely takes a community and a village. Absolutely. And that's Amen. what we do here in Appalachia. Thank yeah. you guys for tuning in. This is the Appalachia Sessions.